Well, hey there, everybody, and welcome to a special two-part movie review. Um, we went to a double feature of movies today. Um, brand new, brand spanking new horror movies. Um, the first one was kind of a... Like, they didn't advertise this movie very well, so that no, was a bad No, we sign. barely knew about it. And it's like a remake of an old movie, and it's based on a popular book. And we still didn't hear about it. That's a bad sign, but we'll get to that. And the other movie we saw was Gretel Gretel. and Hansel. And that uh, is very interesting. We have opinions. First up is The Turning. I mean, (laughs) (laughs) The Turning. Um, The Turning is based on uh, this old book. I don't know how to read, but it's... uh, (laughs) You think think that's pretty funny, huh? Anyways. I'm sorry, I'll teach you to read later. You, you better. You know what? Everyone says they read those dirty magazines for the articles, <laughs> and I can't I can't even read them, so I feel like I'm missing out on the best parts. <laughs> but anyways, um, so The Turning is based on this old book, The Turning of the Screw, which is in fact not a book about carpentry, but is about spooky stuff. And um, in 1961, um, they made a movie adaptation called The Innocents. It's a weird title. I mean, kind of. I don't know. But uh, that movie's pretty good. I mean, campy 60s black and white horror movie. I definitely recommend watching that over this. And if you're going to watch this, first go see. You owe it to yourself. Like, watch The Innocents first. A quick, a quick synopsis of, of uh, The Turning. Um, so the whole story is this lady gets hired to look after these children whose parents have been dead and they're spooky and that's the plot there's not a whole lot more to any of it I mean there's a little bit more but you can't say anything without spoiling but I mean and I don't even know the turning I I in the innocence (laughs) it's pretty I mean you figure out what's going on with the actress as it goes along and it's kind of this fascinating uncovers the story kind of thing. Not so much in the new one. No. So, 2020's The Turning. Um, so, I'm gonna quick give my, <laughs> my, my thing and then Aunt Gore will give hers. Um, so, if you've never, ever, ever seen a movie before, this is not a bad movie. Yeah, I mean, if you haven't seen any, like, ghosts, haunting type movies then like and this is your first introduction then yeah it's not a complete pile of garbage i don't know i feel like it still is i feel like the only way this is enjoyable is if you don't know what a movie is and this is the first one you see you're like oh that's pretty neat i'm excited to watch more of those but uh if you're like normal people and don't live under a rock um this is a I, okay, so first up here is well, I'll get into this real quick. Um, the turning. So this movie is god awful boring. Like nothing happens at all in this. Um, the acting is pretty bad. Um, the script is horrendous. Even if the actors like trying their best to like do this script, it's just horrendous. And then um, it looks nice. The visuals are nice. I mean, it looks pretty. There's nothing that looked bad about this movie. There are some weird CGI spiders that that were unnecessary, but that's not even close to important. Um, So, 90% of this movie is really boring, terrible jump scares and spooky ghost nonsense. But then, the ending. Like, this movie does not have the same ending as as the innocence or the no. turning of the screw. And that's fine, but no. So you get to the end of this movie and it just ends. It's <laughs> just like, it's like a magician jumps out of the closet and goes, ta-da, and then the credits roll. It, it, and you, you're left confused and annoyed and just I, angry. <laughs> I seriously, I seriously said, I hate this movie. <laughs> As soon as it was over. As loud as he could. I 
I, honestly, I can't take you anywhere, Frankie. I honestly <laughs> said I hate this movie halfway into the movie because the scripting was laughable. But holy mother of all that is bad with horror movies, this ending is fucking batshit nonsense stupid. Like, it's not even an ending. It, it just stops, really. It's not even fun, weird, and crazy. Like, it just it just ends. Well, I mean, something happens, and you're like, wait, what? And then it just ends. <laughs> so it's like, it's like you go, it's like an M. Night Shyamalan movie. Except, but except not a good ending to, not, not his good movie. It's like, it, it's almost like the movie trolled you. It's like the whole time you thought you were watching a remake of The Innocence or a movie based on the turning of the screw, but you're not. You're watching something else entirely, and nobody knows what it is. Clearly the people working on this movie either ran out of time or money and just shoehorned this bizarre ending into this movie. Or they, like, chickened out, and I can't say what because I don't want to spoil it, but... There are some dark themes towards the end of the The end of the innocence is really dark, and something happens, and I'm wondering if the studios didn't want that to happen because test audiences were like, no, that can't happen. (laughs) That's that's all I can figure. I don't, that, I I, I have no words for that ending. (laughs) The turning might be like, okay, like on my scale of really bad (laughs) horror movies, there's only one other one I ever like to talk about, and that's the movie Incarnate. And I could dedicate like a whole special to that. But uh Granted it was in January, so it was the January dump. Yes. <laughs> like that we lovingly like to call it, which is usually the horror movies the studios have no faith in, so they all cram them all into January. <laughs> like the worst part about this is like I'd like to recommend it. But bec- like, even if it would just had a normal ending, I would have been like, okay, guess, well, know, this is just whatever, yeah. one of these whatevers, just like The Grudge was just a whatever. But that ending, that ending it's just, even if you, if you sit through the whole movie, you'll get to the end and be like, I fucking hate this. This is the <laughs> stupidest thing I've ever seen. Or maybe you love it. I, I kind of love it because of that. And I also hate it deeply, deeply, deeply. Another, another point to make is in the innocence, the children, both of the children, are very young. Like, they're under 10. They're not they're not preteens or teens. I don't know how old the boy was supposed to be in this, because he's a lot older now. The Stranger Things kid. <laughs> the It kid. But he was definitely, like, preteen, teen. So the way he acted made sense because he's, like, a teenager, and that's how teenagers act. But in the innocence, it, it's very telling. And, I can't see like the young anything children, without spoiling The young it. <laughs> children act much more mature for their age in a creepy and delightful way. In the innocence. Yes. In the turning, the children just act like children. So, I mean, that's not that creepy unless you just hate children. Like, I mean, I hate children, but they don't scare me. They just fucking annoy me. And so did the kids in this movie. They were just annoying and not creepy. The turning might be the worst horror movie I've seen in years. Um, but if you want to see a train wreck that completely derails at the end, check out The Turning. But if you can only go see one horror movie in the theater right now... We have a better suggestion. Yeah, but yes. <laughs> Gretel and Hansel, um, new 2020 horror fantasy film, um, based on the popular, well-known children's fairy tale, whatever, um, you know, the kids go in the house and they throw the witch in the oven. Ta-da, the day is saved. Okay, so this is a modern take on this story. And um, I can't say too much about no. this because the commercials did a really good job of not telling too much about this. But this is the complete opposite kind of film that The Turning was trying to be. Because The Turning was trying to be one of those... Blah! 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 Kind of movies. Um, just constantly. That's all. That's all it had yeah. going for it, spooky wise. Because kids weren't spooky, they were not. Um, but Hansel, uh, Gretel and Hansel, which I thought was going to be just that kind of movie, actually hardly has any jump scares. This no, is this is visual like a and visual, a- atmospheric, yeah. creepy kind of movie. But it's not. It's not really scary. Scary. It's almost more like a fun fantasy film. Yeah. 
Like, it, it's just, it's honestly a really, like, I really enjoyed this. I, I mean, I it no still definitely has horror elements. Don't oh, get us wrong. <laughs> then I, In and, fact, we were kind of surprised it was only PG-13 at the end. And I know for a PG-13 movie, I think there was more gore in this than there was in, in the, the new Grudge, Grudge yeah. movie, which was rated R. Explain that shit. But anyways, uh, so... Gretel and Hansel is, is a solid movie. It's well acted. It's creepy. Um, it's not too scary, so old, older kids could probably go to this one. Yeah, oh yeah, we saw lots of kids in the theater, actually. It wasn't, like, and by no means was this any kind of masterpiece of cinema. Oh, no, but it was a really fun watch. And, I mean, it's not going to be for everybody, because mm -hmm. that type of movie is not going to be for every Absolutely. horror fan, obviously. But it's we not personally really, really enjoy it's it. It's not really a hardcore horror No. Movie. It's just, it's a delightful horror film. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of fun to watch. And even though, like, there's nothing very, I mean, the way they tell the story is a little different, but yeah. there's nothing super surprising about this film. This is something that's... Um, I mean, it's a fairy tale, more or less, in yeah. so many words. They kind of set it up and hinted at maybe a whole universe. So, like, we might get sequels with other, like, oh, absolutely. Yeah. Um, fairy tales. We saw but, the kid yeah. go for an axe, and we thought he was going to be Paul Bunyan. But, no. uh... <laughs> Like, I was being we think funny, more it's gonna be like maybe they'll do a Red Riding Hood thing. Yeah. They hinted at wolves and stuff in these woods, so I feel like they could build on this. Mm -hmm. And I, I feel like there was an article that possibly was saying that's the river yeah. or that's what they're doing. And that's really exciting because this was actually a damned good movie. Yeah, it was a really fun fantasy horror. Yeah. The visuals were fantastic. Oh yeah. Very yeah, if nothing else, like go for it for the visuals. Yes, but uh Surprisingly, I had equal expectations for both films, but uh, I should have lowered mine quite a bit for the turning, and maybe raised them a bit. I really time. like the main actress, too. She's becoming quite a scream queen. In what? Uh, in Gretel and Hansel. Oh, yes. Because she's from It and um, Blinky, oh, but I duh. know we've seen her I in no lots of- I fucking idea. Oh, you didn't realize? <laughs> she's been in a few other horror movies recently that we've seen. I can't- I can't I mean, I know. I, I know the top of my head but she's from it <laughs> yeah. so yeah what was the girl in the other movie from the turning what's she from she was in the newest terminator movie and oh, she was also that's right. much better movie what was the turning. other thing we've seen her in don't see the turning see the terminator yeah and definitely pretend it's the turning. like seriously it's probably streaming soon now because like it didn't have much of a theater. And nobody went and saw the new Terminator movie, and it, it was, was actually really pretty goddamn fun. good. I mean, if you like the Terminator movies, it's one of the better ones. Yeah, it for definitely sure. was one of the better sequels after number two. Yeah. I mean, we already did a review. Yeah, that we did a review, but we can't give that movie enough love because it kind of got overlooked. I know it's not and really I feel bad for movie. that actress. It's not her fault that movie was garbage. Yeah, that, it was like I, the script was just so bad, and it's like as a caretaker of children. Wouldn't you know how to take care of Oh, I know. She was in that really good Black Mirror episode that I think even got oh, like, uh, nominations Hero. and awards and stuff. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. So she's a very talented actress. I hope she gets better roles yeah. or a better director or a better production company or a better whatever the fuck this uh, was. I just like get this feeling that they made this like several years ago and just kept pushing it. It feels like that. It feels like this was a very incomplete movie. The turning feels like I was missing 20 minutes of the oh, movie. Oh, definitely. I yeah. got to the end and I'm like, like seriously, just, just honestly, if uh, you should see it. Go, go check it out. But first or second. Maybe don't pay money for it. Sneak Watch it back. The Innocence, which is on YouTube. Yeah, we found it on YouTube, but it's also, hard to find it Also, yeah, but if you live in the Portland area, I think Movie, Movie Madness, Madness has it, so go rent a copy at Movie Madness. They have everything. Yeah. <laughs> but that's only if you're local, so. <laughs> but anyways, um, those were the horror movies we saw tonight. Yeah. Um, again, The Turning is the worst horror movie I've seen in years, so take that as you will. Obviously, these are my opinions. Oh, also, I mean, I know we already did a review, but we rewatched The Color Out of Space. And it's still good. And it's in theaters right now, like, more widely available, so definitely go check it out if you have a chance. I really liked it. 
And they fixed a few of our minor complaints with it after our first viewing in October. So yeah, it's, uh, definitely check that out if you like that kind of movie. They didn't change a whole lot, but just a few things. Didn't just it? just like minor things that were like just like super stupid mm -hmm. nitpicky things that we had a problem with. <laughs> Color out space, a lot of yeah. fun. Uh, it's not super highbrow HB, um, but it's also not like garbage. And it's Nicolas Cage, so I mean. I would say it's kind of like if this was the highest. And this was the lowest color out of space in my eye level. That's fair. <laughs> color out of space, it's eye level. The turning, it's somewhere around my butthole. <laughs> Hansel and Gretel, Gretel, Gretel and Hansel. I'm probably my left nostril. And those are my ratings. <laughs> it's a perfect rating system. So, well, thank you. <laughs> and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.